friends, welcome to another vlog of a week in my life as a 9-to-5 employee living in Sydney. I've mentioned this before in my previous vlog that it takes me almost 2 hours to get to work from my house to North Sydney and this is pretty much how my work commute looks like. I take about 3 trains to get to work and how crowded the train is usually depends on what day I go. This train is coming from Glenfield and today it wasn't too bad. It just meant that we don't get a seat but we were not packed like sardines. Because our work commute is so long, Hubby and I learned the skill of sleeping while standing up. Haha, <laughs> so that's what happens when you live so far away from work. On the train, I like to stand in the corner where the train doors are because I lean my back and rest my backpack on the steel bars. My laptop is pretty heavy guys. And yes, sorry, sometimes I get in other people's way. And one hour and 40 minutes later, we've made it to the office. Before I start, I like to check and respond to emails and have coffee to wake me up especially after a long commute. I then write down a list of the priorities for the day to help me tackle the important tasks that I have. Yes guys, I'm pretty old school. I like to handwrite things because I like the feeling of crossing out tasks as I finish them. Lunchtime. I wasn't quite sure what to eat to be honest, so I just had a look at what they had at the cafe next to my office and they had some toast, sandwiches, but I just ended up getting a ham and cheese croissant. Not really lunch, but it was good enough for me. I finished on time today and I headed to Hubby's office after work. I'm here at Hobby's workplace because I'm waiting for him so we can have dinner together because I am feeling hungry. Hello. Hi. I felt like eating a burger but I also wanted to eat fries and I think it was perfect that we ended up at this place because they had exactly what I was looking for. This shop is in front of Oiden if you guys are familiar in the George Street area. They have a variety of dishes and the prices aren't too bad either. So I got a cheese hamburg. So it's a plain hamburg steak with melted cheese, uh, rice, I think this is like potato and some ginger. If you guys are wondering why I'm the only one eating, it's because we're saving money. <laughs> just kidding. Javi said he wasn't too hungry and would just finish whatever I couldn't. Before heading home, we went to Gong Gosa at World Square to pick up a few items. I got some Korean dried squid which costed me $9 and also picked up a takoyaki sauce for the takoyakis we got at Costco. This one was $4.90 and I'm glad we got it because it made our takoyakis much more similar to the shop takoyakis. And we are almost home after a long day. Another day, another work day. Go into the office again today, but this time I'm alone because hubby is working from home and he is just driving me to the station. My first train was pretty empty, so I managed to get a seat, but the trains after that, well, I stood for the most part. I have to say that the weather has been great recently, so it was quite nice to be out and about, get some sun and fresh air.
And here we are at work. I am sitting at a different desk today and got myself some fruits to start the day. I left the office at lunch because I had a hospital appointment. I took an Uber from work to the hospital and it costed me around $30. I think it was a bit pricey but I figured it would be better because I was running late to my appointment. This was me having my late lunch at the station whilst waiting for my train to come. I got a cheese and bacon roll from Baker's Delight. I'm eating now because I didn't have time to eat before my appointment. I am very fortunate that my work is very flexible when it comes to appointments because as long as I get my work done and make up my hours, then they don't really have a problem. Finally on the train and I was just snacking on some tiramisu almonds because I was feeling somewhat sleepy. We got another hour of commute left so this is pretty much how I spend my time on the train when I'm traveling by myself, eating and playing on my phone. I managed to get a seat this time because this was around 2.30pm. This is my third train homebound and glad that I was almost home. My work commute feels 10 times longer without my husband because he makes it so much more bearable. Good morning guys, I am working from home today. Hubby actually went to work. I was gonna go to work today as well, but this morning I woke up with a very bad sore throat and a little bit of a cold. And because of that, I decided to stay at home because I don't wanna infect anyone else. This morning, I'm gonna make myself a honey lemon water to soothe my throat. It's very hard to swallow, but I'm hungry and I really wanna eat. So let's do that first. I thought we had lemon juice in the fridge, but we only had lime juice. I don't know if this is as good because I'm in so much pain. I'm just gonna have to go with this for now. Probably ask Hobby to get me something in the shops later today. I don't have the measurements for this. I'm just gonna eye it. Okay. Let's put this first. It's definitely 
really helping me. A bit more honey. It's good. Alright, let's make our breakfast. Finish my breakfast because he wants some. Hey, what are you doing? I also have my lemon and honey water. So let's start work and eat our breakfast. I felt something soupy for lunch but I wanted something quick and easy to do because I wasn't feeling the best and so I ended up just making instant chicken noodle soup with soft boiled eggs. This is my lunch for today. I made some chicken noodle soup with soft boiled eggs. Here you go. Alright, I'm gonna eat. Hello, we just came back from the dentist and my face is still a bit numb from the anesthetic. For lunch, I am having Caesar salad and Hubby is having pizza. pizza. Let's eat.
Tyler. It's a Thursday night and I'm in the car waiting for hubby to get our order because for tonight's dinner we decided to get takeout and we've been craving burger so we decided to go to Burger Point at Edmondson Square but when we got there the shop assistant told us that they're not serving customers because apparently the gas was not working so we thought okay that's fine then we headed to Minter um, to get burgers at Susie Dukes but silly me I did not check that the shop closes at 8 o'clock so when we got there they were already closed so that was disappointing so here we are I don't even know what road this is, but this is somewhere in Mentor. Um, we found this food truck called Chubby Buns and we're trying it for the very first time and yeah, we've ordered, we've ordered quite a bit and we're gonna show you what we got once we get home, so yeah. Be checking out order. <laughs> we got the goods. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, guys, this is what we got from Chubby Buns. So the first one is this one is the southern fried chicken. So you can see the fried chicken there, and it's got cheese, uh, coleslaw. Yeah. One is this other fried chicken. This is my one. This is called the cheesy GC and it's just got a beef patty, um, some Spanish onions, cheese, and I think there are there's some pickles in there as well. Okay, next one is the smoky chop. Smoky chop, and this is Hobby's one. Wow, that looks so rich. So it's got beef patty. Cheese, I think that's onion rings. Onion rings? Yep. Bacon. Bacon. Cheese. Yep. Beef patty, tomato. Beef patty, tomato. And of course, we got some loaded fries. Yes. Okay, you guys might think it's a lot of food in one sitting, but we're not gonna... I know we're not gonna finish all of it, but this is just how we are when we try a new place. We tend to get a bit of everything so that next time we go to that place again, we know what's good and what not to get so yeah hey boys <laughs> the boys are here okay let's eat do you need a fork just for the chips i'm gonna try my burger which is the cheesy jeezy mm. Tissue as well. It's very good, right? It's very smoky. And the meat is very juicy as well. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it has a smoky charcoal taste. Mm. The meat. Mm. And how much is everything? Oh, this, this around was, fifty dollars. This was fifty dollars. Mm. Not bad for like three burgers and like loaded fries. To pick him up. He wants to be picked up. No, he doesn't. Do you want to be picked up by mom? Hmm? Hmm? So cute. 
Oh, he's a little cutie boy. Huh? Boy. Riku. Riku. Why are you giving me the side eye, Riku? Hmm? And we also have this one. Hi. Alright, boys. Yeah, no. Alright, you can relax next to mommy. <laughs> I know you're sleepy. Daddy picked you up. Hey, stay with mommy. Stay with mommy, huh? Good boy. Mm. 